uh, female shark. Uh, <coughs> I could quiz you with all the rest of the stuff. Everybody is clear, everybody knows what that is. If I had a pin in there, you'd say, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> nope. Recognize that? Is that part of the pancreas? Or? That is pancreas, right? How about this? Spleen. That's spleen. spleen. What's this thing here? Stomach. Stomach. And actually it goes all the way from here down. And then from this point on, what's that? That's duodenum. Uh, did you cut open your intestine yeah. and look at the spiral valve? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay. Well, what you see there are these little cross things. If you cut that open and lay it out, what you're going to see is that the food has to go around and around the spiral like that. So what's the significance of that? More surface, surface area. area. More surface area, right. So it slows food down so it has it can be absorbed as it goes down through the uh, ileum and then it ends up in the, uh, the um, colon at the end. All right, female anatomy. Um, first of all, no, no claspers, but if you lift up this massive liver and look underneath, what you're going to see is there's an ovary and those with the eggs all being ready to ovulate. Again, female ovary, the same thing what's in, in humans. Human female ovary is, all ovaries are female, by the way. Uh, <coughs> that uh, ovulation occurs and when the egg is ovulated, it goes into the coelom. Okay? So all of this is the coelomic cavity and when they just uh, are released from the ovary and somehow they have to get down here to the oviduct, and this is going to be the uterus. So how they do that is they bounce around until they come up here, and that is the ostium tubi. And the ostium tubi is the opening through which they move. They go in that, and then curve around here, and ultimately get to this. They're making this journey down the oviduct. Meanwhile, a male shark is uh, copulated with a female, inseminated its sperm, or migrating up, and fertilize those eggs. And here is the uterus. So the eggs begin development. And so you, what you see are these large sections here, which are developing embryos. And I pulled one out. And so what you're looking at is the developing shark. And this is the yolk sac associated with it. So each one of those uh, is another one. So there's four in this one. And as they develop, this yolk sac gets smaller and smaller. The shark gets bigger and bigger. And ultimately, when they're born, they leave the cloaca uh, and swim off. Okay. No maternity at all. No, no. Uh, no care, maternal care. You all saw the heart, and you got conus arteriosus and ventricle and atrium. What's this one? We haven't cut it open yet. Except for the... Oh, okay. The well, I'm going to have to leave here, because I've got, got this other class starting in an hour. The dorsally Okay. Well, just for the, the record, here's, here's the heart, and this soft part is the atrium, and... Show you here. Actually, I need to look at a figure. Make sure I'm showing you this. But this, the conus arteriosus is um, a section up above. Uh, it's a cone-shaped where the heart comes to a point up there. Uh, and I think actually this is the ventricle, and the atrium is down here, the darker part underneath. So you can check check that. Uh, then gill. Did you dissect out a gill? All right. Here's a, a gill completely pulled out. So what happens is you, if you take your scissors and go in here and into a gill slit and cut completely between two of them and excise it, what you're left with is this. And so <clears throat> the terms that you need to know on there uh, include gill arch, and this is easy because it's this arch, and same on the other side, this arch-shaped structure. And then there's the gill rakers, which are a pretty good name because it's these teeth that look like a rake. Okay? And then the gill itself, this is the actual respiratory structures and they're composed of lamellae. The lamellae are, there's primary and secondary. So each one of those projections up is a primary lamella. And then if you looked at that microscopically, I drew a picture over there, all those, those uh, side extensions would be secondary lamellae. Okay? 
And finally, uh, gill rays, uh, you can't see on this because they project, they're on the inside of this, uh, <clears throat> behind those gills, off of the gill arch, so they're sticking up like this, supporting this whole structure. And <clears throat> if you, this whole set here is called a demibranch, and if you flip it over, if you flip it over, there's another demibranch over here. So one demibranch and this demibranch together form a holobranch. So the one gill arch has a holobranch, both sides of the gill structures. Okay. You filming? Mm -hmm. Listening to me? Uh, so, anything else?